Hello everyone, my name is Squid and welcome to my highlights of the absolutely gigantic TFT patch for 14.18. So if you didn't know, this is the biggest patch of the set and in a way it's like a half set revival as there are new systems being added, new charms and a bunch of champion reworks. Now I won't be going through the champion reworks in this video, they definitely deserve their own. So today we're going to be looking at the new system with the frying pans, the big trait buffs and the new charms that are coming our way. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started by looking at the new golden item, the frying pan. So one of the biggest changes is now the addition of the frying pan along with the spatula. This now gives you access to even more emblems and tacticians items. In fact, the only emblems that aren't craftable in this set are Encanter, Chrono, Vanguard, Blaster and Arcana. Everything else is now possible. And the new frying pan can combine with a spatula to create the tactician's cape, which has the standard plus one to team size, but also there's now a 1% chance to drop one gold after 10 seconds of combat. Two frying pans will give you the tactician's shield, which gives you that 1% chance of one gold when the holder dies. And then of course, unchanged is the two spatula, giving you that tactician's crown, which now will give you that 1% chance of one gold when you win combat. Now obviously that 1% chance is basically negligible, but it's still gonna be pretty cool that there are those different items. Now there are some rules about reforging or having the Pandora's augment with the frying pan. So reforging an emblem will now turn it into any other emblem. Reforging a spatula will now give you a frying pan and vice versa. And reforging a tactician's item will now give you a different tactician's item. Now this is going to allow for some big tactical changes as to what direction you want to go. Multi-striker, mage, shapeshifter comps are now much closer and within reach. Also, this can be helped by the fact that there is going to be a guaranteed item remover if you haven't already got one from the PvE rounds. Now moving on, and as has been a theme this set, there have been plenty of trait changes and this is no different with a wide range of buffs. Like Blaster has had a big increase to the damage amp they provide before and after takedown. The Chrono Countdown Timer now starts at 14 seconds rather than 16 and the stun duration and AP bonus has been increased for Chrono 6, but that speed gain has been reduced. Eldritch now has higher base stats for the 3, 5 and 7 piece compositions. Fairy has had a complete restructure and it is now 3, 5, 7 and 9 where you now gain the Queen's Guard armor at Fairy 5 and then at Fairy 7 you're actually going to gain a second crown. Honeymancy will now always give you 5 bees and the level of the trait now determines how much damage those bees will deal or will take. Mage 10 now exists and it's going to give you 140% ability power but they're going to cast so much more often as that maximum mana of a mage champ is now set to 20. Shapeshifter 8 now also grants 3% HP regen per two seconds, so basically it's got a built-in Dragon's Claw. Scholar not only has the mana per attack gain, but they're also going to gain 10 or 15 or 20 ability power, and that Scholar 6, every time a Scholar casts their ability, is going to heal the lowest health ally for 15% of the damage done. Warrior 6 now gains 20% durability and as you want your warriors to go in, this is going to be huge for their survivability. And finally, Witchcraft 4 has been reworked, so now it poisons the enemy for 4% of their maximum HP and it deals it as magic damage. And Witchcraft 8 has had the overall curse damage increased to 50%. And th this is a good amount of changes, especially with the introduction of the new emblems that are possible. I think the amount of possibilities there are, are, they were endless, they're now doubly as endless. And finally, as the big set mechanic for set 12, there are of course new and reworked charms. 
There are 10 new charms in total, so I'm gonna select my top three favorite. And I would have to say Counterspell is up there, which will mana reeve all enemies for your next combat. Meteor Storm, which is like Lightning Strike, except it deals 30% max health magic damage, and it's gonna be burning enemies. So if you go up against a Shapeshifter comp, this is the charm for you. And Tremors will stun all enemies for every eight seconds for 1.25 seconds. So this combined with a Witchcraft 8 or a Chrono 4 Plus comp, it's just gonna be the ultimate CC chain. And Desperate Plea is back, but now instead of allowing you to cheat death, it will actually reduce all incoming player damage by 80% for your next combat. So, as has been the case, charms continue to be an absolute powerhouse for your comps to help get that last little bit of advantage. So there are my highlights of this patch. Of course, this hasn't even gone into all those champion reworks or augment changes either. But I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Please let me know in the comments below your favorite change of this patch. And don't forget to like and subscribe to show your support for this channel. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the arena.